Cada cosa que logro a ustedes se la dedico Aunque a veces no me entiendan y hayan cosas que no explico Ey. Hello my fearless friends, welcome back to my channel. So I am currently wearing my cleaning uniform. Which I use for cleaning. Um, so today is Saturday. I was supposed to have girls night today with Destiny and Paola, but I canceled with them early in the week after everything with the house arguments happened and then just some other stuff came up. And also, I don't know if we've talked about this before, Maybe not because I don't think I had friends before, but my social battery is very, very low. I have recently learned that I'm an empath. Empaths need space to stop, digest, and think things through. Without these moments of solitude, empaths stay swept up in the moment. I think that's the best way to describe it, but I get affected by other people's energy really quickly, so... Sometimes this extra empathy helps them bond with new friends or understand their own emotions. Other times it leaves them feeling reckless, anxious, or downright exhausted. I just have this bad tendency of going back into my turtle shell and then just disappearing for a while. Luckily, I've told most of my friends before we even become friends that that's the type of person I am and not to take it personal, but I know that it's something that I should work on. So I digress. I canceled girls night, but Bryce and Destiny still had to come over today because they are going to go over our taxes with us. Bryce does our taxes. Thank you, Bryce. So he is going to come over and explain just how everything is looking for us. So I had to clean. I'm a little sweaty because I don't know if it's just me, but whenever I'm uh, mopping, I'm like putting in work. So uh, I just finished mopping. I'm about to get in the shower, but I got a package here. Now I wear a lot of leggings, a lot. I've tried a lot of different leggings and my favorite so far that are affordable because my favorite overall are Lululemon Aligns. Like, come on, they're just really expensive. So I don't have any at the moment, but a more affordable brand is definitely Old Navy. And that's what I got here. I'm gonna show you guys what I got before I got in, before I get in the shower. I'm trying to talk really fast because I need to go shower and wash my hair. But I'm gonna show you guys what I got and then maybe I'll wear some of it today. Okay, so I got a pair of leggings. I actually sized up on them. I usually wear a large, but I decided to size up just to see how they fit and maybe hopefully they don't go see-through as fast. I also bought a sized up crop top. Um, I was a little daring when I was making this purchase, so we'll see how that fits. And then if you guys know, I'm obsessed with socks, any type of socks, because I hate wearing shoes. So I bought these fuzzy pink socks, because I just thought they were so cute. And then I bought these uh, fun little sneaker socks. And then I bought some black masks. So I will show you everything out of the packaging. Okay, so here is everything. I will be putting all of the prices up on the screen. But here are the pink socks. This is what they look like close up. Oh my god, they're so cute and they feel super thick. So I'm really excited about those. And then this little pack of socks came with three. It has the little smiley faces. It has the tie-dye one and then some fun yellow ones. So I'm really excited about those, especially since you guys know I deadlift and squat usually in socks. So... And then for the mask, I just got some black ones. Um, they do have the little adjustable straps. So they look like this. And so they have the little adjustable strap. Um, they're just black. And then I didn't know this, but it comes with a laundry bag, which I thought was pretty cool. Okay, so there's that. And then here is this tie-dye crop top that I told you I bought. Oh, this is like a from their plus size section. And this is the smallest size that they had in their plus size section. I will try it on and see how it fits, but I'm scared because I get scared to size up because I'm also scared it's gonna make me look more boxy. So we'll see how that looks. And then these guys, 
These are the leggings. The Elevate, Elevate leggings are amazing. They are usually $30, but the Old Navy always has these on sale, so I actually got them half off for $15. So we're gonna try those on later on. All right, guys, I'm gonna go jump in the shower, wash this dirty ass hair, and then we will see if I end up wearing those or what I end up doing. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys how the shirt fit on me. It fits pretty good. I think I would wear this to the gym, actually. I don't know if it's a crop top. Well, maybe a little bit. But this is what it looks like. The sleeves from in here are a little, like, loose. So I think I would feel more comfortable wearing it to the gym, like, with the sports bra than out in public. But yeah, that's what this looks like. These are the tights. This is an extra large, and I actually love them. They're so comfy. So I'm gonna pick out a shirt to wear, and then we'll wait for Bryce and Dusty to get here. Hi guys, so Bryce just left. Destiny didn't end up coming because she wasn't feeling well. So it is now 8.04 p.m. You guys didn't see me in the last vlog, but I'm back, suckers. <laughs> They saw you in it. They just didn't see you that day. Oh. Yeah. Just kidding. <laughs> Tell my subscribers how you've been feeling. Do you still want to get another house? Oh, dang. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But that's for a conversation off camera. <laughs> they know what, that we got in an argument and everything, so... Yeah. What's your argument? It's not an argument. I'm not trying to argue. It's just, uh, you know. He's making coffee right now, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I just want, I just want, I don't know how many guys watch this, but they'll understand. Like, you just want a bigger garage for your, for space, for your cars, to work on them. And I don't know, it's just something that I've been wanting to have in the house. A big backyard. Granted, I don't work on the backyard, so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. And see, me, I told him that we could sell all of the gym equipment since I'm not going to be using it anymore, which I know sounds crazy because I was crying for that garage gym. Um, but I'm not using it anymore, so we might as well get rid of it, get some money out of it, and then he can use the garage space. But I also yeah. understand him wanting No, more but I mean, space. if I get to use the garage space, that's going to make me feel a lot better. Somewhat. Yeah. But like I said in the last vlog, he's been wanting a new house for a long time, so I had finally gotten to the point where I was going to give him what he wanted. And then he changed it's, his mind on me just, so it's quick. It's stressful. Okay? Yeah. It's not, it's not that easy. I know it's, it's not. not. It's not easy to be like, oh, yeah, let's, let's just sell everything. Well, we'll see what happens when we talk to Javi. Well, I, I don't even I know. I don't even know if you're going to be posting this, but. I am going to post it. Or whatever. But they, they do like that. Uh, so they have a, a, a thing called a House for Her Heroes. House for Heroes. And it's like for all first responders, firefighters, uh, police officers, military, which they help them get a house and they give them like discounts. It's not really discounts, but it, they give them like, they give them some money to buy a house. Mm -hmm. So even selling a house, they help them sell houses too. So that's, I was just, I was just going to send them an email or just like register and have and see what they say kind of thing just to get some information from them it's not like i'm i'm uh selling the house i'm just getting information well like i said we are exploring the idea yes so. it's not which if she would have just said that in the beginning oh. <laughs> if she would have just said are you serious <laughs> okay Hold on, let me just say. Okay, so tell me why no. Ricardo comes home from work and he's like, 
we got to sell the house. I didn't say He's that. He's like, you like, always okay. wanted to live in a loft. We can get a loft. <laughs> no, and I got like, excited because I was like, you know what? No, We're in a baby. small space right like, now and I, I don't like, mind it <laughs> because it's just us. And it's already such a, a headache for me to keep up with this house here. And so I started me being me, right? Being the person that needs to have a plan, I started looking at all possibilities. <laughs> and then when I was like, okay. She went, well. no, you went from zero to 100, baby. <laughs> so like it was, it was, I talked to the guys at work and I was just, they they just told me, you know, oh yeah, it's a good time to sell. And it, and you could rent for a couple, a couple of years and then buy another house once the market crashes or whatever. So that's what I tried to explain to, to Bay, but she ended up thinking, oh, sell the house right now, okay, and then, yeah. <laughs> okay, well. Why are you rolling your eyeballs? Because I want to give you what you want too. I want to give you what you want too. <laughs> My thing's always been, I don't know if you guys have ever seen 17 again, but I, this, I always use this as reference. In that so. movie, he always talks about, he talks to his wife about how Essentially, he didn't get to live the life that he wanted to live because I think she got pregnant or something. Because I knew that no matter what happened from that day on, nothing can ever be that bad. Because I had you. And then I, uh, and then I grew up and, and uh, I lost my way. And I blamed you for my failures. And since I watched that movie, I always said, I never want my husband to feel like he's missing out on the life that he wants to live because of the decisions that I choose to make. Baby, I'm living my life. <laughs> well, that's, I just, that's something that I was considering whenever we were talking about getting a new house. I wanted to make this happen for him because we've been in this space because I wanted to stay in this space. So, that's my argument there's no argument here yeah we're just <laughs> in the i think i told you in the last vlog i was like even though we're not civil right now civil no and then i was like oh, it's not that we're not being civil we're just having disagreements is what i said yeah but i guess you haven't watched my videos so no i haven't watched it yet did you watch my travel vlog i did watch your travel vlog why don't you tell me I liked it. You should check your notifications. It doesn't show me who likes it. Oh, well, I liked it. Okay. What are you doing? I don't even remember what I was going to tell you guys. Oh, I think I'm going to make some cold brew coffee right now. But then also, like, I kind of want to watch a movie and drink some wine and relax because I had a long week. My head was really hurting earlier today, and I don't want to say that loud because I don't want to jinx myself, but I'm getting to the point where I feel like it's my LASIK, so. I don't know if it's your LASIK. I think it was a migraine. Oh wait, can you show them um, what my sweater says? Yeah. So Selene got me this sweater, and it's my new favorite sweater of all time. Yeah. <laughs> and then it has this cute little... Oh yeah, it has this cute little hand. It's from the Mantra Company, I think is what it's called. But, yeah. Okay. Thanks, Elena, if you're watching this. Okay, um, so I'm going to decide what I'm going to do next, and then I will tell you guys. <laughs> okay. Okay, so Selene also got me this really cool alarm clock. It's called a lofty alarm clock, and... She bought it for me because I told her, like I've been telling you guys, <sighs> that I have a really hard time falling asleep and staying asleep. So I set it up yesterday and I wanted to show Ricardo how it works because I really enjoyed it yesterday. I fell asleep to pink um, noise, I guess, and it really helped me stay asleep. So I'm going to show you guys the features and then show him as well. So I actually don't have a bedside table. My pillows don't pay attention to them. And my Air Force Ones. But this is the Lofty Alarm. Um, it does have an application that I use. So, so I can set an alarm and then it has a nightlight. 
and you can make it do that. Whoa. Yeah, and then here's like, it controls the sound. So right now, I use, wait, this one. This is what the pink noise sounds like. But you can make it loud. It also does like different wake up sounds. The wake up tone is this one. I picked this one called Paradise. Isn't that cool? Oh, that's pretty cool. The other ones sound kind of weird. Yeah. So I I tried it yesterday and it was awesome. And then if you end up snoozing it, there's this thing called the get up tone. And then the one I have is Aurora, I guess is how you say it. But this is what it sounds like. So way different than like your phone alarm. So <clears throat> you can pick different sounds. There's this one. That's brown noise. Red noise. And then distant valley. I didn't listen to this one yesterday. Yeah, I know. I think the dinosaur was coming for me in my sleep. But it has. You can set up your alarm here. You can set up your alarm on the phone. It has the sounds, um, you can put a playlist, and then here's the settings, and then the nightlight, you operate from the app, and then when you press this, it does a blackout mode, and you can just press any button to reactivate it. So I'm excited to continue to use it. And that's all for now. So we decided we're going to watch the movie Searching. I'm currently wearing my blue light glasses. These are the ones that I bought once I got my LASIK done because like I said, my eyes are super sensitive to light now, like to the point where I get headaches, I think. So yeah, but I'm going to make myself a cold brew because I want to. It's late. I don't know how good of an idea this is, but we'll find out. But I bought this one from Starbucks. And I'm just following the instructions on the side of the bottle, so we'll see. So, four ounces. That's half a cup. <laughs> I can't open it. I, my, my calluses won't let me open it. Look at my calluses. <laughs> you can't see them? <laughs> yeah, you can see them. Come on, baby, you don't need no man. No, she needs me. <laughs> okay, so half a cup. Right there. There. That's it. It says four ounces, and then you add four ounces of water. Where's the creamer at? I, I'm gonna put the creamer in at the end. Okay. Uh, not what that kind of water. Hazelnut. Oh, yummy. Okay. Looks good. Looks like a Starbucks drink. You guys can look in my fridge because I cleaned it somewhat. But this is my creamer. We're going to add... If there's any uh, creamer companies out there that want to sponsor us, we love creamer. Shout out Great Value, we always go with you. Yeah, well there's another... Because we broke. <laughs> Oh yeah, <laughs> There's another creamer on the back. Okay, hold on, I need to get a boomerang of this. And we'll do... I'll get lower. There you go, like right there. Ooh, so fancy. Okay, we'll use your spoon because you love it. We'll mix. Do I need to add sugar to this? Uh, I, think with the a little no, white, huh? I think with the creamer you should be good. I would add some more uh, coffee. Some more coffee. Hold yeah. on, I'm gonna taste it. Hold, hold on. What? Yeah, I think I add more coffee. It's gonna be too sweet. Taste test. 
Oh. Yeah, it's, it tastes like Kramer. straight up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yummy, Matomi. It's only 8.45. <laughs> I just took one sip and I already feel hyper. <laughs> Yeah, that's Bit pretty better? good. Let's try it. I think you would want more coffee. Can I film you? Oh, sure. It tastes good. It tastes like a hazelnut iced coffee. He doesn't like hazelnut. But it's all good because it's my coffee. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Come on.